everyone welcome to my channel it's macy first and foremost happy new year to all of you out there watching um so it was recently brought to my attention that although you guys are enjoying my lash reviews some of you need a little help applying said lashes so i decided to start off the new year with my top 10 tips on how to apply remove and care for your lashes all right so let's get started so my first tip for you is to always trim your brand new pair of lashes from the outer corner. So when you buy a pair of lashes, they have an overall look and shape to them that will be compromised if you trim from the inner corner. And I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. So these lashes that I have on give you um, a more flirty flare at the end. So if I were to cut these lashes here instead of at the end, I would start my lash off with a very awkward length and then have a really big, enormous flare at the end of my eye. Because I trimmed them from the outer corner, I was able to maintain this natural length that starts at the corner of my eye and then get an appropriate flare for where it ends on my eye. So make sure you always trim from the outer corners to maintain the integrity and look of your overall lash shape. Okay, so tip number two is concerning the glue. And I know that's like a lot of people's kryptonite. That's where a lot of people just like give up on false lashes because they just can't get the glue. All right, so my tip is whenever you apply your glue, make sure you get it tacky before you apply it to your eye. If you put it on while the glue is still wet, it will not stick to your eye and it'll slide around and more than likely mess up your eyeliner and your makeup and all of your hard work. So you have to practice patience. Um, you also just wanna practice um, in general, applying your eyelashes just so you can get that sweet spot and find that right amount of glue that you need to apply to each lash. You never wanna put too much because then you'll just get really frustrated and overwhelmed um, waiting for it to dry and you'll get um, impatient as well and apply your lash too early, you don't want that. And if you put too little, your lash won't even adhere to your eye. So just practice applying your lashes, but no matter what, always wait for your glue to get tacky before you apply it to your eye and it'll stick just how you like it, okay? All right, so tip number three is to use clear glue. Now this is just totally opinion-based, but I think that if you're a beginner, using clear glue or glue that dries clear um, is more appropriate. I think it's a lot more forgiving than black glue, especially if you're in the stages of accidentally still getting glue on your lash fibers or on your actual eyelid. It doesn't leave the same amount of evidence of imperfections as um, black glue does. All right, so tip number four is apply your lashes to the middle of your eye and then tack down the outer and inner corners. Um, I know some people are really tempted when they apply their lashes to like start at a corner and then press it down going this way or vice versa. But my tip for you is to actually apply your lash to the center of your eye first and then tack down the inner and out of corners. Um, it just makes lash application easier and it's a lot easier for you to um, line your falsies up with your natural lash line without making mistakes. Okay, and that leads me to tip number five, which is look down when you apply your lashes. So instead of looking head on um, into the mirror, you want to give yourself an angle so that you can see everything that's going on. And you also want your, la your natural lashes to be kind of down at an angle so that you can easily go around them and put the falsies on without touching your eyeshadow or touching anything else. And I'll just show you. So if you um, apply them that way, you would just drop them like this. And you'll actually be, you know what? I got y'all. Okay, so this is why I love this mirror. It's perfect for a lash application. I would just look down into this mirror like so. And now I can see my entire eyelid and my face and everything like that. And I can see exactly where I would drop my lashes in the middle and then watch myself as I tack down the lashes on either side. So it just, it just allows you to be a lot more precise and um, get things just how you like them. <laughs> so it just allows you to be a lot more precise and get your lashes just how you like them. All right, so tip number six is use some type of applicator. I know that a lot of pros, a lot of beauty vloggers, they use their fingers to apply their lashes and 
kudos to them, but unfortunately I am not one of those sisters. Okay, I have to use an applicator to apply my lashes. Um, for me, it makes it a lot easier um, to just get, again, like get that precision that I'm looking for. I actually have mine here so I can show you what they look like. Um, they're just like really big tweezers and they actually have like this long part here that curves so you can really just grip your lash like this um, and that helps a lot to kind of like flatten them out when you're applying them so you can see exactly um, how they line up with your natural lash line so I really like that about them okay so tip number seven is hit those lower lashes with some mascara okay it's life-changing, honestly. I feel like when you have really dramatic lashes on top, it looks really nice to kind of balance that out. Even if you don't put any eyeliner on your lower lid or anything like that, just put a little mascara on your lower lashes and um, kind of solidify that look. All right, and now we're moving into care. And st tip number eight is wash your makeup off your lashes, ladies. <laughs> When you take your lashes off, make sure you remove the glue and any excess makeup um, that you have left on the lash because honestly, it is not cute when I see girls reusing their lashes and they have last night's purple eyeshadow stuck in their lashes, but they clearly have on like a natural brown look today. That's just, it's not cute. That's, and that's just that. <laughs> okay. Um, tip number nine. Use oil to remove lash adhesive from your eyelid. Okay, so I really wanna harp on this. Do not ever put oil on your falsies. So whether you have extensions or you have strip lashes, you do not want oil to touch those lashes because it will dissolve the glue and your lashes will you know, fall out of the strip or fall off if they're extensions. So you don't ever wanna put oil on the lashes themselves, but once they're off, once you've removed them and put them away, far away from the oil, you can actually rub a little um, facial oil. I use whatever I have on hand. Um, I put it on a Q-tip and just rub my eyelid and the glue will come right off. And my last and final tip for you is Put your lashes back in the box. Oh my God. <laughs> I know you guys have seen the videos, the gifts, the memes, whatever. You know, people have their dogs eating their lashes. They're getting scared by their lashes on the floor because they think they're like a spider. Someone's boyfriend or girlfriend has put their lashes in baggies for them because they just pull their lashes off and put them anywhere. Please don't do that care for your lashes, okay? Period. <laughs> Just take care of them. Even if you don't clean them off right away, when you remove your lashes, put them back in the box. It just extends the life and longevity of your lashes. Um, if you don't really buy expensive or luxury lashes, I can see why um, you may not put the effort in, but I, you know, I'm reviewing some nice lashes for you guys and I hope that you actually try them out. And when you do, I really want you to take care of them. I don't want you wasting your money. Lashes can, um, their prices can range from like a dollar to 30 from what I've seen. So I always want you guys to make sure you take care of your lashes because they're like your little babies, okay? <laughs> but seriously, that's all I have for you guys. Those are my top 10 tips on how to apply, care for, and remove your lashes. So if you have any questions or comments, as always, leave them below. Or if you just have some words of encouragement, leave those below too. And like, comment, subscribe, and share my video. Thanks for watching. And until next time, peace.